Well, we were to. We were working on uh, Opus 6, Big Dorchik strip, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I'd, there was a little material here at the end that had a high tone because it was too little extra material was there. So I'm just going to finish it up now. I think we have it. Fairly even. And again, this is our, and we are at. Again, we're about 185 and a half. So, because this strip is attached, uh, the end of the strip that's attached to the inner bout is the area where we want to raise this tone strip. And again, that's from this area to the dotted line one, which is here. So, because it's attached here, we just go in about three quarters of an inch. And this is the material we're going to scrape down to raise the whole strip. All right, so again, we'll just uh, tone up my scraper here just a little bit. So this is the uh, area we're going to be working on. Notice I'm saving the hardest part for last because of the uh, fingerboard. But uh, that's why I start on the easy part first. And I'll put this on the pad for support. So I'm starting all the way up against the edge of the uh, carved out part of the plate, working back out toward the center of the plate, about a total of three quarters of an inch. Can I get an idea there's not a whole lot of material being removed? But See how we're doing. Again, we'll go from side to side to see if we're raising the strip evenly. Okay. That's what we want. Sounds high. Sounds low. Sounds high. Now we're about uh, 195. And still got a ways to go. Okay, so bring a scraper back. I think this might have been one of the scrapers I got from International Violin in a set uh, made in Sheffield, Sheffield, England, kind of a pre-shaped. Um, Sure, you don't cross this line because I would raise the tone strip above it. All right, that's our goal. Go a little above the goal. Sounds above. Mine goes below the goal. Sounds lower. So we bracketed our goal frequency. So now we have goal frequency all over this area compared to the other areas. Here it's all even. Yeah, that's what we want. So we move our strips down. Start on strip number seven. And if you kind of got the idea here and you're ready to do your own, great. I think I'll just go ahead and go through all the strips, even if it's a little repetitive, there might be different problems on the different strips that we could uh, talk about. Okay, so we've got our tape at both ends of the strip, so we don't get confused. And let's see where we're at. Just the tiniest tap. Boom, 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 boom. 
little harder to hear, just the lightest little. And of course, this is a six inch piece of sound, sound post stock, which is spruce. And uh, sharpen on one end, like a, with a pencil sharpener, in case you wanted to get into little tight areas somewhere. So I'm just using the big end. And again, I should mention, um, it's not doing this, it's dropping it. And as it bounces up, you catch it. Um, go. As it bounces up, I catch it. So um, that's basically the idea. Even with a light tap, you just just gently drop in it. Right here sounds to be the low spot. So this will be our goal. I'll just put an X there for right now. Okay, that's I'm gonna make everything that low. So right in here there's an area that needs to be scraped down. Remember this is the area we've done. Um, you really want to be sure to just put a piece of tape on it. That area is <laughs> done. Okay, so now we're just going to scrape across here. So see, we're not taking not taking much material off to change the frequency. Right on this little shoulder here, there's an area that sounds high. Now, this, <laughs> some of these are going to be interesting trying to get in here to scrape, but we'll do the best we can. And again, see if I hadn't had this piece taped on here, it would have broke off just then. So I'm going to need to transfer this to the top plate before I glue everything together. See how it we use our little X low point here. And as it goes around the corner here is a bit high. So if you needed to, you could uh, this is number 100 sandpaper. Notice I'm using old junky pair of scissors to cut the sandpaper. Save the good scissors for actual wood products like paper. <laughs> okay, you can just get in with your fingers and the edge of that. All right, let's see how we're doing. Sandpaper on it. That worked too. Back to our scraper. The more even you can make this, the better your instrument's going to sound. Our line. Okay, so and 
as we want it to be. It's not. That sounds lower. That sounds higher. So oh, we're about uh, 181. We go from 181 to that. Okay, so we look for the area that's attached nearest to the center bout. And uh, if you remember on our pattern, there's a part that has a red circle on it. And this is the dividing line. From here it's raising, from there it's lowering. And we're right on right on that line. So in this direction, attach the center belt, this is for raising. So on uh, this one, come out about three quarters of an inch. And that's the area of the material we want to remove to raise this tone strip up. Okay, now we're starting to get into the fun area of um, being interfered with by the fingerboard, but we'll just persevere. You might have to make some special tools after a little bit here. To remember to don't cross this line. some sandpaper. And smooth off these rough lines. So here I'm pushing down with the sandpaper here and moving it in that direction to uh, affect sanding in a tight area. Might have to use uh, some little wood sticks that have sandpaper on them. Okay, let's see how even that is by going across. This area is a little lower, so I've got to go back and scrape some more on that side. Let's see how it sounds now. And now it strips even all the way across. We've come up to about uh, 186. Here it's still too low. And we'll come back through with the scraper again. Yep. Sure we get in our own right strip here. We establish that line so it's real clear. smooth out a bit. Okay. Sounding better. Let's try it. This is a goal 198. A little lower, a little higher. Sounds high. A little lower sounds Bracketed. Now we have this area from here down is all dual frequency. Some higher, some lower, some slightly lower. Okay. 
And uh, so these, uh, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Finish six. So he did six, finish six and seven. And it's taken almost one filming, so filming segment, but just going to have to take her time and uh, do what it takes here. So I'm marking the next segment. I'll remove the tape from the uh, one we just completed. Now I'll reestablish these marking lines for doing the next strip. Now notice this is the one that had the uh, circles on it. So this is where the transition happens. So from these strips over here, they're attached to the other center bout. So to raise this strip, we'll actually go over here next time. Okay. And we'll store the film away here.